this is me in all of my glory with not a drop of makeup. I actually didn't do a very good job of brushing my hair either, so I am looking like a hot mess, but that's okay because I'm in the process of getting ready, kind of, at the moment. Um, I am actually heading to Louis Vuitton because I ordered something. I've had my eye on it for a little bit. I wanna see if it ends up working out, and if it doesn't work out, hopefully I can provide you guys with a little bit of eye candy. And hopefully the next time you see me, I won't look like this and I'll have a little bit more makeup. And I'm wearing the Palm Springs Mini uh, crossbody because I do have the Pochette Matisse strap, which I haven't used in forever. But yeah, looking super casual with my uniform as always, my black shorts, my Louis Vuitton runaway sneakers, and an LNM tee, and of course, the old navy jacket that I wear all the time, hence the uniform. So this is the bag I came to check out. Oh yes, the bum bag. All right, I know it's not for everybody, but if you have been watching my Minx Monday, you know that I'm kind of obsessed with this. Now here's the bummer. I actually have to order another one because this little bill keeps flipping up. I have some items in there, but it keeps popping up and that's gonna drive me nuts. Not only that, but check this out too. It almost looks like a deep scratch on the handle part. So this came from a different location. Um, so that's, that's a little bit funky, but Erin did bring out hers just so she can show me and hers ends up staying perfectly fine. This doesn't flip up or anything. And she said that she's had it since the launch date, but look at how beautiful hers is. Look at the patina. It is gorgeous. I will have to say this is crazy comfortable. I love how versatile it is because you can either use this crossbody, you can put it on your shoulder, or you can also hand carry it, you know, and uh, the adjustments are very, very generous. You don't have to worry that it's too short. Um, and I was a little bit worried because of my chest, but it fits perfectly. I love this. Now let me show you guys what it looks like on me. All right, so what do you guys think? I actually have it on the fourth setting. I have a few more settings that I can go. Um, which gives me a lot more room if I wanted it to be farther down on my torso, which is great. But even like this, it feels like a really comfortable just handbag. It doesn't get in the way. It doesn't dig into my shoulders. And I also like that the strap is a little bit wider to add to that same comfort. You know what I mean? But I absolutely love it. It's cute, right? It's cute. I love it. But look at that. Do you see that? Hello. I'm a little smile. <laughs> see? So I can kind of just carry it like this or I can make it a little bit shorter so it's not too long you know and again very easy to get in and out of let me see if I could do this one-handed probably not oh check it out scales okay. and the zipper doesn't hurt my hand or anything like that either uh, right now I have a few um, a few small of the goods just because I am using the Palm Springs Mini that you guys saw, but very, very comfortable. Easy to get in and out of, I think, you know, especially, you know, one-handed. But um, yeah, I love it. And it also has this back pocket. I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. I love it, but look at hers again. Oh, gorgeous. Love that patina. And just the darker that it gets, the better looking it gets. For me anyways, I know some people don't like the patina, but I certainly appreciate it. All right, I also want to check this guy out, which is the Boite Chapeau. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly, in the giant monogram reverse. I think this is so, so cute. I, oh, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I really love that it comes with, with its own little luggage tag, you know, and you can take it off. Um, it also has the adjustments, and it's a lot more comfortable than I anticipated. I thought it was going to be a little bit heavier, but um, it's definitely not. The only thing that does drive me nuts, and some of you guys might think I'm crazy, but if you were to make these, if you were to make this shorter, or I'm sorry, if you were to have it higher up on your torso and you have these longer, you have a little tab here, but I feel like as time goes by, these might start to curl because you don't have anything else to kind of hold it in place, you know? So like I said, it's just one of those things that might drive me a little bit nuts, uh, but it's very, very comfortable, easy to get in and out of. And it's such a cute bag. What do you think? So in here I have the clay, the mini pochette, and the Chanel Beauty CC pouch. And it does have the microfiber on the inside, Louis Vuitton Paris, made in Italy. It's super, super cute, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's really for me. It's, um, I can appreciate it. I love the monogram reverse, 
but I don't know. It's, it's super cute though. <laughs> it might be one of those things because I wasn't the biggest fan of this guy either. And now look at me, now I'm obsessed. But super cute. I can imagine this with a, like a gorgeous, gorgeous patina. Let me give you guys a full on kind of twirl of this beauty. It kind of leans forward too. You see that? A little bit forward. But it is beautiful. Da 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 da! Check this puppy out. The mini luggage, and it does have the treated vaquetta, so you don't have to worry about it oxidizing for those of you guys that aren't a fan of the patina process. But this is so cute, and it's it's sturdy. It feels a little bit it's a little bit thicker it's a little bit harder which i expected this one to feel like but this is so cute it has so many bells and whistles but you know what it totally works it totally works let's peep it out inside what do you guys think i love that the zippers go all the way down because it makes it so much easier to open up i think it has a generous opening because of the gussets but look at that you have the beautiful microfiber interior this oh my gosh i am <laughs> I am legit obsessed. It is so cute. I did not expect to like it as much as I do. Oh my gosh. Does it have feet? No. Oh my gosh, it does. It has feet on the bottom. All right, let me try it on so you can see what it looks like on me. So what do you guys think? Super, super cute, right? I actually have it on the fourth, uh, the fourth setting and I like that you have something for these little tabs so they're not flopping in the wind or anything like that. But this, oh, I am legitimately obsessed with this. I like the length on it. And for reference, I am five foot five. And I think that this size works out the best as a handbag because I think that the one that's a little bit bigger um, kind of looks more like a travel piece. But it is so, so cute. And I also like the fact that everything is centered, you know? It's just beautiful. It has the bells and whistles, but I think everything just works so, so cute. Look at that. It's heavy. It's heavy without stuff, but I love it nonetheless. Let me show you guys some of these funky shoes. I'm in the men's section. Look at that. They're a little bit different. They have a whole lot of personality. Look at these. Oh my gosh, I like them because they're pink. These kind of look like van. What? Let's see. Wait a minute. Oh. Hold on. These look like Vans. These are pretty cool. It's all epi leather. And then you have the Damie Graffiti on the back side. That's pretty rad. I love these. I'm trying to convince hubby to get these, but we all know my hubby isn't the biggest fan of luxury goods. I'm gonna try on some shoes too. Those are pretty awesome too. I wish they made uh, some ladies ones with this, with this print. Those would look awesome. Let's be honest, I totally beelined it because I saw these. How awesome are those? I love the velvet. I feel like it's so over the top, but it works. You know what I mean? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, look at the blue one. What is my deal? I'm not a blue person whatsoever, and I'm just, I'm loving blue. I think those are awesome. Look at those guys. These are beautiful shoes. I'm not a big fan of those. Moccasin. All right, so let me show you guys some eye candy for the lady shoes. Look at these. These are the ones that I talked about in one of my recent videos. How beautiful are these runaways? The Rose Ballerine with the Damien Azur. And look at these. They're all pink suede with a pink patent. And then you also have the pink on the interior. These are gorgeous. I don't know if they're showing up blue just because I'm right by the window. But these are gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful there's those guys i'm trying these on right now hopefully i'm not moving too, too fast 
and then check out the sandals. These are so cute. They're like dainty, but they have a little bit of gaudiness going on. I think I've said gaudiness, gaudiness like 50 times today. I can't really get the other ones because I'm too short. Let me show you guys some denim as well. Look at those. Can you see them? Super, super cute. I've seen these before. I kind of like them. Hopefully I'm not shaking the camera too, too much. And then check out the boots. These are the ones that I'm trying on. In a moment, I don't know if they have my size, but these are awesome. They're heavy, they're gorgeous. 1540, but I love those. Look at those. These are beautiful too. What do you think of these? I have them in silver. These are so cute. I'm trying to give you guys as many skews as possible too, so. Oh my gosh, look at that. You have the monogram on the top. So it's kind of hidden, but not. What is this? The Discovery Flat 1330. These look a little bit funky. The sock ones, I couldn't pull these off. They look atrocious on me. Super cute though. Oh, an animal print. Look at these. Do you like these? Look at that. Animal print, the twist. Da -da -da -da. What do you think? The front row sneakers. I have tried these bad boys on more times than I care to count, uh, but usually I find them a little too big or a little too small. This time I went with a 38 and a half and they seem to work out the best. Uh, I don't have wide feet, although I feel like my feet look a little bit wider in these, but they're really comfortable. My heel isn't, you know, popping out, which is what I experienced in the other ones. I even tried on a 38 and a half before and I felt that it was a little too tight. So sometimes even if they are the same size, you just have to try on multiples just in case, you know, because they might vary just slightly. And that slight difference will be a world of difference when it comes to choosing your shoe. But I think these are so cute. I'm gonna try on the 39 just to be on the safe side. But I love them. Very, very comfortable. That's a lot of monogram going on. <laughs> but not bad. What do you guys think? All right, now I know, I know these aren't gonna be for everybody, but I think these are fabulous. Of course, not with the mean old sock popping out, but these are so cute. They're super comfy too. They are a little bit stiff. I gotta admit, they're a little bit stiff. So I like the white stitching too. I think it just adds that little bit of oomph. What do you think? It's like, this is my style. This is me trying too hard. My style, trying too hard. My style, trying too hard. <laughs> so here's a better shot of these bad boys. Look at that. And they have the Louis Vuitton uh, on the, the little emblem on the back side. But look at, you have a chunky heel and way more comfortable than I thought. So I, I just think that these are awesome. I love that the eyelets are white too. I just think that everything works together beautifully babe are you a fan no no <laughs> no <laughs> all right i am also going to try these guys on take a deep breath here we go o m g <laughs> uh, you know what no i can't pull them off to save my life i feel like i'm gonna like kind of like a robot but I was just telling Aaron, kind of like those Reebok, were they Reebok? The air pumps, like in the 90s that you go, 
and they get bigger. That's what I think it looks like. Look at that. What do you think, huh? <laughs> I think they look kind of weird. It's like, they're so ugly, but I kind of like them, but I can't pull them off, all right? So don't worry, don't worry. I know some of you are like, what? Many get rid of them, but. And I'm five foot five. I feel like they make me look shorter. I don't know why I keep doing that, because I feel like that's what I have to do. <laughs> All right, all right, let me try on those boots. All right, so check these out. These look pretty cool. They kind of give me like Lara Croft vibes. They are a little too snug. They're actually uh, killing my foot right now. I need a bigger size. Uh, she said that at the moment they have whole sizes, but they will be getting half sizes. But if it was a half size bigger, these definitely would end up working out. Very, very cool. Super soft leather, comfortable, and I like the buckle too. All right, so I want to show you guys the Discovery bum bag for the men's collection as well. I love it because it is the Monogram Eclipse, and then you have this beautiful leather on top. Um, so this is also a great version if, uh, if you're not a fan of like this bum bag or if you don't like the World Tour, because they also made this available in the World Tour, so you have the carefree um, leather, and it also has a red interior, and of course you have to pick the patches. But this one, it has a different style, obviously, to, um, to put it on. It doesn't have this, uh, it doesn't have this adjustment, but you can still adjust it. You can kind of move this over, but this is how you would, you know, pop it on and off. The one thing that um, kind of turns me off about it is the fact that you do have half of the buckle that's metal, and then this part is plastic. And I don't know about you, I feel like this might... I don't know, these might snap off as time goes by because they're not too, too strong. They feel kind of flimsy, to be honest. Um, but I really wish that they would have made it all metal. I think it's beautiful. I absolutely love this leather and then the detail on those zipper pulls. Again, I just wish that this would have been all metal. But that is just something to think about if you decide to go for this bag. But this leather is beautiful. And I also want to show you a few more men's pieces. I like these too. Those look pretty rad. I feel like I'm saying rad a lot too. It's like stick to one word and keep saying it over and over again. <laughs> these are pretty awesome. Just a few other pieces. I feel like I'm lugging this guy everywhere. And then over here, we have the belts. A few more of the men's pieces. Because I, I feel like I would show you the luggage. I love this. I think that's really, really nice. Yes, it is. And then the fragrances. Yes. Look at that. Look at how cool that is. Very nice. I don't know the name. I don't know the price, but I think it looks pretty cool. I want to show you guys the hot stamps because I actually decided to bring both of these luggage tags, uh, but these are the ones that they have available. Those are so cute. You have little Vivienne and then, so you have Vivienne right there, just so you guys can see what they look like. And then I also got the Scorpio. I'm really excited about that and this little, this heart with the dagger. It says Louis Vuitton. So I'm actually gonna get this one and this guy uh, in silver and in gold. One of them's gonna say mini and then the other one's just gonna be the, uh, the hot stamp on these guys. But once again, look at that, super cute. Super, super cute. And I'm actually going for, actually I didn't go for foil on both of them. I went for that gorgeous green see how that turns out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I did pick up a few things. Um, I'm gonna wait for them to get uh, the bump bag in because I had to order it um, again to see if that one doesn't have the issue with the lip. Uh, even the store manager came out and she's like, yeah, that's that's not good. I think it'll get a lot worse as time goes by. So um, I'm, I'm, kind of, uh, I'm kind of sad because I was hoping to walk out of here with that bag, but I'm really, really excited and looking forward to getting one that doesn't have 
you know that um, that issue but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the eye candy I will try to put as much information on the description box below uh, but to be honest I know that I showed you guys quite a few different items between the handbags and the shoes and some of the small other goods in the men's section. So please forgive me if I don't end up putting those on there, but I will definitely try my hardest. But I love you guys and I will see you later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not, the choice is yours. Have a great day.